Good evening and welcome to St Thomas's for evening prayer. My name's Eleanor and I'm one of the worship leaders here at St Thomas. It's so good to welcome you to join us this evening. For those who have not joined us before, we start with an opening time of quiet, followed by a thought of the day and some prayer. You might wish to light a candle or have some reflective music playing in the background. So to start, we have Deuteronomy 33 verse 27. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So now we'll have a short pause to reflect on the day that is past. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And today we have Psalm 149, verses 1 to 5. You might wish to join in the psalm with me, or you can just listen to it. And that's Psalm 149, verses 1 to 5. Praise the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. His praise in the assembly of his faithful people. Let Israel rejoice in their maker. Let the people of Zion be glad in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music to him with timbre and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. Let his people rejoice in this honour and sing for joy on their beds. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And the reading for this evening, Friday evening, is 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 9 and 10. God has destined us not for wrath but for obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live with him. Amen. Psalm 149, verse 1 to 5, is a command to praise. Joyous praise for your music. At the start, we are commanded to sing to the Lord and praising through singing is extremely important in many of the Psalms. We are commanded to use singing, playing music, rejoicing for the Lord to praise. There is no distinction between those who are good at it and those who are bad. All faithful people are instructed to do it. From morning until night, we are commanded to praise God. For some of us, this is easy to do. I'm a singer. I went to university to learn to sing and to teach singing. I spent three years of my life studying music and singing. For me, singing is as normal as breathing. I find myself out walking with music in my brain and on my lips. And it's not embarrassing. I just sing. As you can imagine, I've had funny looks as I'm going about life singing. But for some, singing is something to be shy about. Something only done in the shower, or even never at all. Something that is embarrassing as we judge ourselves. Some just don't enjoy the sound of their voices or worry that others won't. It can be hard to just sing without thought, to sing with joyous abandon. But it doesn't really matter how we feel about our voices and singing that's not what God thinks. Our singing and our praise is a delight to him. He delights in his people. More than that, he commands us to praise. To lift our voices from the moment we wake till we go to bed. He wants us to sing and be joyous in music. He wants singing and praise of him to be as natural as breathing. 
so that even as we go to our beds, we are singing his praise. Don't be embarrassed, just sing, because it is a delight to God. And at this time in particular, when we can't sing in our churches, please do so at home. Sing to God, just praise him. Let us pray. Merciful God, we entrust your unfailing and tender care this night, those who are ill or in pain. Knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them. And restore them to health and strength. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray for healing for this broken world. There is much hurt and destruction in it. Comfort, bless, heal and give peace. We pray that all people come to know, love and praise you. Amen. Lord, we pray for all people who make up your church across the world. May they be true disciples of you and do your bidding. Amen. Lord, we pray for organisations all over the world. Lord, we pray for organisations all over the world who are working to respond to this current pandemic and to do charitable works for those in need. We pray they have the resources and people they need to do the good that they do. Amen. Father, we pray for those leaders who are undertaking steps to reopen countries, that this is done in a wise and moral way. We pray for those places who have had to go back into lockdown, that their leaders will put their people and health and safety first. Amen. Lord, we pray for the parish of St. Thomas Berkentry. We pray for our community as we continue to deal with the effects of coronavirus. 
We pray for those organisations and volunteers who have tirelessly worked within our com community in response. Amen. Lord, we pray for the schools in our country and across the world who are going back, for the teachers, support staff and children. We pray that governments put in place regulations and guidelines which will keep them safe. Amen. Lord, we pray for the scientists working on developing and testing vaccines. We pray that they are wise and that these vaccines will be safe and help us get past this pandemic. Amen. We pray for key workers and all those workers who now work outside of the home again. We pray they are safe and supported at this time. Amen. Lord, we pray for all those who don't know you, that they will come to do so, that all people will learn of you and praise you, Lord. Amen. And now we bring our prayers together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us in prayer tonight. Please continue to comment on the video and if you'd like to explore faith or need support, please feel free to contact us. You can also support the work of St Thomas Church by following the link in the description to our safe and secure online giving page. So to conclude... In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly upon us and give us peace. Amen. <laughs>